Hi, my name is Sean Laureate, a UI developer here at IBM Rational BuildForge, and I'm here today to introduce you to some work we've been doing on a new user interface coming in the next major release. Uh, you can check this new user interface out in the current milestone if you go to port 9080 slash new UI on the machine where you have the milestone installed. Uh, the user accounts all use the same user accounts that are built into BuildForge. It uses all of the same data and it's talking to the same APIs. So let me log in here and give you a look at what's in here. Uh, the default desktop view of this new UI has a single viewlet here open. It's the projects listing. And uh, any new users will see this default view when they first log in. Uh, now I can customize this a bit and move things around resize the window and notice as I did that it made a copy of the default BuildForge view. This is so that uh, users when they're modifying their current view only affect their own views of these things. They don't affect any other user. Now uh, if you ever want to go back to the default you can do so simply by clicking that tab. Now what this does is this saves all of the configuration information for this view so that if you wanted to switch browsers, for example, switch to Safari here, um, if I log in here, I'll get the same view so that I don't lose any context from where I, I was before. Uh, something else that's new in the new UI is inline edits. So you'll notice this project, Hello World, does not have a selector, which means that I can't run it. I can click the plus to assign a selector in line, and if you keep your eye on this one, you'll see that it also live updates as that saved and got word back from the server that the save succeeded. Uh, the reason that I kept that open also is because we don't have notifications in the new UI yet. So for example, starting off a build does work, but it didn't give me any notification that it works. However, I can log into the old UI and verify that uh, it did indeed work. So let me switch to the jobs area, and there it is. So if I go back and kick off another one, um, here it is running, and it already completed. So something else that we can do here is filters. Uh, let me create a quick new project here for a moment. New project. Okay, now, uh, the general filters work the same as they did in the old UI, so if I type hello in here, it will filter to that. Uh, something else that you can do is keyword filtering, smart filtering, so I can say selector, select, and so that filters to anything that matches that. Uh, sorting also works, uh, can reverse sort if you hold shift, you can have a secondary sort, which can then be reversed or removed, and clearing out. And uh, editing does not currently work, but that is coming. Uh, we mainly wanted to get this out there so that people could take a look at it, try it out, and give us feedback on how things work. Uh, the look and feel will change as time goes on, and we'll also be pushing out new builds periodically with more and more functionality as we build it. And please feel free to give us any and all feedback. Uh, best place would probably be the Jazz Forums for BuildForge on jazz.net, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.